Hi friends. After completing our discussion on present tense and past tense, I thought of taking a break and post a short video on phrasal verbs starting with uh, the letter A. And followed by that, I posted a short speech on Gandhi Jayanti, it being very close. Okay, today we come back again uh, to uh, tenses and start with future tense and that is what remains to be explained. Okay, let's go to a simple uh, future tense. When we speak about simple future tense, uh, the first thing that comes to our mind uh, will be uh, what is the form of the verb. And that is will or shall plus do form or the base form of the verb. That is uh, simple future tense. And the full sentence, full fledged descendants comes. It will be subject plus will or shall uh, plus a do form or the base form of the verb. That is the form of the verb and structure of a sentence. Let's see uh, what are the different uses of uh, simple uh, future tense. There are two important uses. One is um, uh, a sentence expressing pure future and the other one is sentence expressing colored future. So you may wonder what is this pure future and colored future. Let's go to the examples and see uh, what it is. So the first use is to speak of an action that has to take place in future. Okay, some point of time in future. That is pure future. See the example. I shall see him tomorrow. I said will or shall plus do form or the base form of the verb. Subject plus here shall plus the base form of the verb see. I shall see him tomorrow. And uh, another word uh, showing uh, future. Okay, now the second one. To speak of... Uh, uh, future actions or events colored with intention. Intention means a kind of uh, uh, purpose. Okay, you have an intention. Why you do uh, that? Why you do something? To speak of future actions or events colored with intention. See the example. He is going to build a new house. So here, when we analyze the sentence, we see that subject plus arm is R. And whether arm is or R is to be used, that depends on the type of subject that is used. Here it is he, so we have used is. If uh, it was I, then uh, surely it would be arm. I am. I am going to build. Suppose this is plural. In the next sentence, we have a plural subject. They are going to. So here it would be, they are going to build a new house. So uh, the form of the verb uh, to analyze it, see, uh, subject plus arm is are. This is the present forms of be. So one of these plus going to plus bear infinitive or the base form. That is the structure of the sentence used in uh, colored, I mean, uh, symbol future using to express colored future or uh, events colored with intention. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, next one and that is future continuous tense. It represents an action as going on at some time in future. We just speak about a point of time in future and say that an action is going on there, continued uh, there. And here the structure or the form of the sentence will be subject plus, will or shall plus, be plus, present participle. In simple future we said uh, is, am, um, are, one of these. The normal procedure will be will or shall plus do form or the base form of the verb. In this uh, um, structure, future actions or events colored with intention, we use one of these arm is are plus going to plus bear if infinity. But here uh, we use be itself. Okay, be itself is used. Subject plus will or shall plus be plus 
present uh, participle. Uh, that is the structure of a sentence in uh, future uh, continuous tense. Okay. Then second use is uh, to speak of future events that are planned. Okay, I will be staying here till Sunday. I will be staying here till Sunday. That is my plan. So, to speak of a future plan, we can use future continuous tense. I will be staying here till Sunday. Uh, so, future continuous tense represents an action as going on at some time in future. That is, we speak about a point of time in future and say that an action is continued there. The form of the verb or the structure of a sentence will be subject plus will or shall plus be plus present participle. Example, I shall be reading the paper then, a point of time in uh, future. Okay, it's part of a conversation. That's why it ends like that. I shall be reading the paper then. Then second one, to speak of future events that are planned. Uh, to speak of future events, future plans, we can use future condition. I will be staying here till Sunday. I think these are the important uses of uh, uh, simple future and future. Uh, continuous, watch the video uh, repeatedly and I'm sure you will be able to write sentences in simple future and future continuous without any grammatical errors. I will be back with another video on future perfect and future perfect continuous very soon and wind up the discussion on uh, tenses. Okay, till then, goodbye and thank you.